Hi guys, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. As you'll be able to see there, the US 30 has had a really outstanding uh, evening session there and that's on the back of uh, the Fed minutes last night, basically giving the indication that interest rates aren't going to rise as potentially as quickly as some traders and commentators were uh, anticipating, especially in the back of Janet Yellen's previous testimony. But anyway, uh, rates are going to stay lower for longer. Uh, obviously based on the current fundamentals and you've seen a massive upswing in the US there and we're trading above potential resistance at 16.401 next potential resistance is uh, 16.598 and uh, a very positive day on the US 30 well, overnight so if we jump onto UK 100 it's also had a fantastic day look at that bullish engulfing pattern trading above both its moving averages stop dead at 6.666 which has been a, a, a resistance level that's been in play well all the way since September and it still is in play right now so we need to get above here to be able to tackle next potential resistance at 67.13 so let's have a look at Japan 225 uh, I can see dollar yen has obviously sold off so dollar weakness the fact that rates aren't going to rise so quickly uh, so very interesting candle look at this level um, 14.219 on the Japan 225 uh, and that's obviously going to be in the back of yen buying as well. So other stock markets are, are rising. Pro Japan 225 just hasn't feeling the love this morning. This is the strategic level. We break break and close below that. Next potential level is at 13,693. Um, but really, equities, even Asian equities, should be good uh, eventually. But we've got to be getting uh, some some yen weakness back into the equation. And what we're seeing here is the dollar yen. Uh, keeps on unwinding as you get more of this uh, negative USD news coming out negative in the short term anyway but we're trading below potential support at 101 spot 80 next potential support would be at 100 spot 80 we've not had a close below that yet but that's a strategic level to look out for so if we then jump on to West Texas crude has been smashed in the last couple of days oh, it's been doing great in fact um, so again uh, you've got the unrest in Ukraine but you've also got that dollar weakness uh, on the back of the Fed minutes last night next potential resistance is at 105 we're slap back in the middle of the range right now. Next potential support is at 103. So quite interesting on there. And uh, you also had crude oil uh, Wednesday, which came out yesterday incidentally. And uh, it did show that there was uh, a reduction in supply. So a lot of fundamental factors behind crude oil. So gold, dollar weakness giving it a bit of a shot in the arm. Uh, there's obviously not quite so much market uncertainty, but this is a nice bounce that we've had in the last couple of sessions. So trading above both moving averages, which is positive. We've not closed above that yet, so that will be the uh, that will be the, the kind of kickstart for this. The next potential resistance at 13.32. If we do reverse back down, that level at 12.95 is still in play. And then if we jump on to euro dollar, uh, as you can see there, it's uh, it's actually had a, a, a fantastic three days. This uh, formation you're seeing here, uh, widening candles each day, called three advancing soldiers, and it's a very important uh, candlestick formation but we've stopped dead in the tracks at potential resistance at 38.63. We really need a break and close above that to rechallenge the highs up here. But things look to be um, pretty strong in the last couple of sessions. We need to see how today plays out, if it's gonna break higher. I'll have a look at cable. Cable totally smashed through at 167.44 yesterday. Uh, we've got a bit of a doji formation right now. You'll notice there, if I should get my drawing tool out for a second and just put it right here, we stopped bang on 68.24 today this is the level we need to break and close today if we're going to re-challenge a little bit higher uh, and things are certainly looking good for GBP USD if we do break and close above that well economic data wise uh, you had Chinese data that came out overnight uh, looks to be a little bit worse than expected um, in some instances but that's just adding to the Chinese stimulus hopes I'm guessing in fact I can see the China A50 is up almost 3% overnight so um, bad news is good news <laughs> Good news is bad news over there right now. So uh, the Asian markets, apart from Japan 55, of course, are taken care of. Um, big moves there in the Chinese markets, from what I can see. The Hong Kong markets are also all up as well on the back of that. Um, UK interest rate decision at 12, but that's just going to remain uh, constant. And then you've got jobless claims at 1.30, which is a weekly piece of data. If we fast forward on to Friday, more Chinese data, CPI and PPI overnight. Um, that will be one to, uh, to be aware of. Um, I want to make sure I don't forget about that. I set my alarm, my alerts on there as well. You can also have that set on your mobile as well. And um, then you've got your uh, Reuters Michigan uh, Consumer Sentiment Survey at 2.55. Uh, that one I'm not so excited about, but uh, this Chinese data is gonna be very interesting for um, propping up the Asian 
our economies. Anyway, um, keep your eye on the chart forum and uh, make sure you make insights part of the layout going forward. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.